welcome you one more time to day number seven of our 100 days of fire and power from the Ministry of Daughters of Destiny. My name is Busola Jegede, and this morning I'm here with Pastor Ngozi Guzoro, our Lagos Island coordinator, and it's such a joy to be here today. Now, every Sunday we are having, today is the first Sunday of the year, and I'm prophesying to your life, your eyes that is seeing this first Sunday of the year will see the last one. Amen. Our eyes will see the first and the last one. Amen. And many, many more in the name of Jesus. Amen. You see, this is a leap year. It is a leap year. A leap year is the year of extra, extra day. There shall be extra joy in your life, Amen. extra peace extra grace i prophesy extra mercy in the name of jesus Amen. the sunday edition of this program this is the very first one we term it prophetic showers and we are in our studio in showers of grace building it's prophetic showers it's going to be a time of prophetic and apostolic release consistent for one hour we want you to be a partaker this is a fresh grace this is a new door that the Lord is opening in this ministry. This year, no matter the challenges, you are moving with prophetic unction and prophetic power. I'm speaking to somebody this year, those mountains, you are going to surmount them with the prophetic power that the Lord and unction that the Lord is releasing upon you, especially for this year. No matter how tough it gets, uh, no matter how dark Egypt was, uh, there was light in Goshen. I'm here to speak to somebody. Hey, Yakira Basha Tayada. No matter the prophecies, no matter the predictions, uh, 2024, you are soaring on eagle's wings. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. this morning, the first prophetic declaration I'm going to make is from the book of Genesis 27. I just want you to worship the Lord one more time. Just a little bit, a little bit more. You know, uh, yes, worship stirs up the spirit of prophecy. Oh, how great is our God. Sing with me, how great Mashat Alaba. Is our God, if all will see how great, Lord, we worship you this morning. How great is our God. Genesis 27, from verse 27. Isaac blessing Jacob. And he came near and kissed him, and smelled the smell of his clothing, and blessed him, and said, Surely, the smell of my son is like the smell of a field which the Lord has blessed. The smell of my son is like the smell of a field which the Lord has blessed. I prophesy into your life, my life, everyone under the sound of my voice. This year, your smell, your aroma, is like that of a field which the Lord has blessed. Amen. The field that the Lord has blessed smells fresh. You will smell fresh. Amen. There shall be no stagnation in your life, Amen. in your family, Amen. in your work, Amen. your ministry, Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. The field that the Lord has blessed smells. It smells not just freshness, but you can actually perceive the aroma of the, of the beautiful fruits. Every gifting and fruit you carry, it shall have a manifestation in the name of Jesus. The field that the Lord has blessed is a fruitful field. Yay! Indeed, the Bible says the fruitful field can indeed become a forest. That thing in your hand, it shall be fruitful in Jesus' name. Amen. The field which the Lord has blessed, it brings forth fruit in its season. It is not lacking. Somebody I prophesy this year, your life will be fruitful. Amen. You will be productive. Amen. You will be like the palm tree. Every part of you will be useful. In the name of Jesus. 
The field which the Lord has blessed does not wither. You will not wither. Amen. No matter the conditions around. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody, this is prophetic showers uh, from the ministry of Daughters of Destiny. Lift up your voice wherever you are. Prophesy to yourself. I want you to repeat it to yourself. Call your name. Say, I am Debu Salah Jagadeh. Hey! I am like the field. I smell like the field which the Lord has blessed. I am Debu Salah Jagadeh. In the name of Jesus, with my family, with my work, with daughters of destiny, I'm the field which the Lord has blessed in the name of Jesus. My smell is like the smell of the field which the Lord has blessed. Lift up your voice, lay your hand on your children, on their pictures, speak to their lives. You, my children, and your spouses, and your children, you are like the field which the Lord has blessed. Shall I go and see me take them? With your spouses and your children. Your lives are like a field which the Lord has blessed. <laughs> Speak to the life of your husband. My husband, oh, look at the jacket. Your life is like the field which the Lord has blessed. Oh, Shataka Yaba. A sweet aroma. Aroma of favor. It will not be stench. People do not like what doesn't smell nice, it repels them. But the fragrance, oh, Rabokosha, that will be attractive. My fragrance will be attractive. It will attract favor. Amen. The field which the Lord has blessed, I prophesy, your smell will attract favor. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. your smell will attract helpers. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Genesis 27. Welcome to today's edition of 100 Days of Fire and Power. Like, share, subscribe. Somebody needs to be in this prophetic reign. And this is our plan. Every Sunday <laughs> on 100 Days of Power and Fire, you can also join us live. Our studio is open for live audience participation. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Look at this. Verse number 27. Therefore, may God give you of the dew of heaven. Hallelujah. Someone I prophesied this morning. The dew. Yeah, the dew is not the rain, no. The dew is not the rain. But the dew has a function. The dew comes to water the earth. It waters the plants. After the dryness of the night, somebody I prophesy to your life, receive the dew. It is the preliminary. The one that keeps you fresh. When you wake up in the morning and you look at the vegetation, they shine, yes. they glisten because they've received the dew. Hey, somebody I prophesy to your life this year. Receive of the dew of heaven. Amen. Initial watering and initial blessing. Amen. It is not the main thing, but it is the early thing. Yes. <laughs> the one that will freshen you. Hey, the one that will freshen you. The one that will make you look robust in the midst of dryness. The dew waters the earth. Somebody in the midst of financial dryness. God will give you a financial dew. Before you wake up. The dew comes before you wake up. Somebody a provision. Whilst you are still asleep. God prepares the dew. Oh. Somebody I prophesy to your life, I receive it. Whilst we sleep, God prepares the dew. You do not see the dew in the afternoon. Hey, what you see the dew early in the morning. An early morning release of power. An early morning release of power. An early morning release of grace. An early morning release of abundance. Somebody receive it. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You walk in the strength of the dew. When the day now begins to get bright. You will not be stretched. Because you've got the dew. Somebody I prophesy to your life. And mine. In a miracle. Receive the dew of heaven. 
in the name of Jesus, lift up your voice say, I receive the team. I receive the blessing of the team. In the name of Jesus. You know, this is what the dew does. When you wake up in the morning, your leaves will not wither. Because the dew is upon it. Your ground is watered. Even whilst you sleep. I prophesy the dew of heaven. Somebody say, I receive it. I say it three times. In the name of Jesus, I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. Oh, in the name of Jesus, glory be to God. This is day number seven, the day of perfection. The Lord perfect everything concerning you. In the name of Jesus, every area of struggle. May the Lord perfect in your life. Somebody, the words I'm speaking to you are spirit and are life. I want you to cooperate with this word. As a matter of fact, we are on mix LR. When you are driving, continue to listen to this prophetic word. We have come this year with a prophetic agenda for 100 days of fire and power, a prophetic push to the next level. And as you keen with this prophetic words, hey Kalima Shatayaba, you will see greatness this year. No matter the evil predictions. In Jesus' name. Amen. Come with me to Genesis 27. We're right there on the matter. Verse number 28. Therefore may God give you of the dew of heaven. Amen. And of the fatness of the earth. Hey, the fatness of the earth. Very specific. Because sometimes the earth can bring forth tistles and thorns. The fact that the earth is dead does not mean it always brings forth fruit. Sometimes some people, their earth is barren. It does not yield when there is a curse. But today I have come to declare a blessing. Amen. The fatness of the earth. Somebody, your ground will be fruitful in Jesus' name. Amen. No matter the seed you put on a ground that has fatness. That ground is prepared to nurture your seed to greatness. I prophesy this morning in that your earth, your earth may be in the financial world. Your earth may be in the property market. Your earth may be in the educational sector. Your earth may be in the agricultural sector. It does not necessarily mean you're tilling the ground. It means where you sow the seed of your purpose. Your earth may be ministry. I prophesy to your life and mine that our earth is fat to receive the seed of our labor, to receive the seed of our doings, and it will yield a mighty fruit. In the limo shake somebody receive the fatness of the earth. Your ground is not barren. Your ground is fruitful. In the name of Jesus, our ground is well watered. It is fat in nutrients. Our ground will produce a hundredfold in the name of Jesus. In 2024, the ground of the Ministry of Daughters of Destiny and BJIM, the ground of Showers of Grace Building, will be fat and flourishing, producing fat crops. Fat results. Somebody receive it. Your ground. Your earth will not be barren this year. Your labor will bring forth good results. In the name of Jesus, you will not labor on a ground that is dry. Hey, you will not labor on a ground that is lean in nutrients. That country where you are is your earth. It will favor you in the name of Jesus. That country where you are is your earth. Hey, it will favor you in the name of Jesus. Even this Nigeria, all earth, all earth. Hear ye the word of the Lord. You are fat and flourishing to me. Somebody say that. In the name of Jesus. You are fat and flourishing to me. To the ministry of daughters of destiny. We speak to you earth. Of 2024. You will not be barren. You earth. You are not barren to us. You will yield 
a bountiful harvest. Amen. Shata, I prophesy. Somebody receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Inamakota yadaba rege dege dege rebo kujada gada. Hey, said the fatness of the earth is my portion this year. Glory, glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. We give you praise. Genesis 27. Welcome to Prophetic Showers, our Sunday edition of 100 Days of Fire and Power. And so right now, we're moving on. Still, verse 28. And plenty of grain and wine. I love the blessing that Isaac blessed Jacob. Very specific. He didn't say, I'm blessing you with grain and wine. He said, plenty, 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 plenty. Somebody say plenty. Plenty. 2024, mm. for you, your family, mine, is plenty. Yeah. What we say is what we have. Yes. Plenty of grain and wine. Grain feeds the body. Mm. Wine fills the soul. They say a merry soul. Yes, wine makes your soul to be merry. Your body will be nourished. Amen. Your soul will be nourished. Amen. Plenty. Plenty, plenty, plenty. Oh, Rabakasha. Somebody this year. Oh, you will sing of the goodness of God. Hey, this year you will sing. Of the goodness of God, you will sing, you will sing, you will sing. Yay! Plenty is coming. Receive it in Jesus' name. Oh, 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 with me. Of the goodness. Somebody said this year, I will sing, I will sing, I will sing. Yay! In Daughters of Destiny, BGIA, in this place, yeah, we will say, yeah. Showers of praise building, right here. We will sing, we will, we will say, yeah. Of the goodness. Somebody, say, my family this year, I will say, of the goodness. Somebody, by December, you will say, Oh my life, you have been faithful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my life, you have been so Thank you, Jesus, will be my song. Every breath that I am able. Somebody get ready. You will sing. Of the goodness. Say, I receive plenty of grain and wine in the name of Jesus. Now look at verse number 29. Genesis 27, verse 29. Let people serve you. Oh my God. I prophesy to your life, mind in this ministry. The grace of people. The grace of people. Amen. God will bring people to your business. Amen. God will bring people to your life. Amen. They will serve you willingly. Yes. Of their giftings. They will serve you. Not because you compel them, but because of love. Because of favor. They will serve your purpose. In Amajada. Do you know? A rich person can serve a poor person. Yes. Serve the person with the resources the person needs. I call for the anointing of people, the grace of people, in the name of Jesus. Amen. It says, our nations bow down to you. Amen. I prophesy to your life and not mine. The doors of nations open before us. The treasures of nations be available to us. Nations, that's how a nation can bow to you. You can be here in Nigeria, your business has an open door to end foreign currency. That is the nation bowing to you. You are here in Lagos and they are buying your products in Canada. That is the nation bowing to your gifting and your purpose. I decree international oil. Global anointing. I prophesy to your life and mine, to this ministry. 
a higher dimension of global anointing, global abundance, global provision, global, global provision. When nations bow to you, they bring their treasures. In Amare, here that we are, somebody receive it. Your coffers, your bank accounts begin to receive from nations. National currencies begin to come. May the Lord give you the purpose. May the Lord give you the business. May the Lord give you the idea that will command and will give value for nations to release their treasures to you in the name of Jesus. Somebody, it is time for that online course. Start that online business. Start that online thing. Start that international thing. Go and open PayPal. Open that account. I decree the wealth of nations right now. We call you forth to our coffers, no matter our locations. Nations, bow in the name of Jesus. Nations of Asia, nations of America, nations of North America, nations of the continents of the world, we call you forth in the name of Jesus. Bow. We receive divine ideas of access to the wealth of nations. In the name of Jesus, receive it. Lift up your voice, say, I receive it. Somebody, you are receiving an idea right now. It is very simple. Some of you are good in mathematics. You are good in physics. You can start a tutoring course. And people will be paying you per hour in dollars. Somebody, that craft, you know. Go and learn how to do an online course and you curate your costs and you begin to earn dollars I call for it right now by the reason of this blessing creative ideas Shakatali Brogode somebody right now get your anointing oil anoint yourself for creative ideas raise an altar for creative ideas now I prophesy somebody you are coming to testify right here on prophetic showers you are coming here to testify this prophetic word is moving on swift wings. Hey! Sweet wings of performance. Receive it. Somebody, you are jumping in your room right now. I see you with the eyes of the spirit. You are dancing because you have a light bulb moment. Holy Ghost just downloaded something to you. Now, now, somebody, if you are online, right, I'm the one. Isekete. It shall come to pass. The idea will not die in the womb. Hey, this prophetic showers is for activation. Prophetic and apostolic activation. Right now, I speak to barriers. The Lord says he has been giving you these things before you do not act. Today, right now, by apostolic bulldozing. I speak to every foundational limitation. Everything blocking you from making progress now. I command them to scatter in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 10, 27 says it shall come to pass. In that day, today is the day. He says the burden on your shoulder shall be taken away. The yoke on your neck shall be destroyed by the anointing. By the anointing. The shackles, the foundational powers, the distractions that have always stopped you. No more from today. The name of Jesus. Divine access. Begin to move. Everything you need to bring together to bring this prophetic work to pass, now be activated. Amen. The name of Jesus. Amen. Your paradigm is changing right now. Ikasata, receive the grace. Oh, glory be to Jesus. Glory be to Jesus. Glory be to Jesus. Yes. Oh my da 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 somebody just worship the Lord right now. He's doing something. Oh my lava shada yadaba. He's stirring a miracle for you. Hey. Hey, somebody God is stirring a miracle.
Right now, I'm on verse 29. Be master over your brethren. Hey! Somebody, I prophesy to your life, myself inclusive, from your mother's children, from your father's children. You will be a master. Amen. Not that you exert on them, but you will be a beacon of light. You will be a source of inspiration. You will be a source of blessing to your sisters and your brothers, your brethren, your family members. Hey, in your family, when there is a need, God will make you a supplier. In the name of Jesus, your voice will matter. In the midst of your brethren, where you are from, you will not be relegated to the background. Anointing of honor will speak over your life, I prophesy. In the name of Jesus. He says, let your mother's sons bow down to you. Let them bow down to you. Somebody you will command honor. They will willingly bow to you because of the overflowing grace in your life. Hey. Of the overflowing mercy in your life, people will willingly bow to you because they recognize the hand of God upon your life. He now says, cast be everyone that curses you. Whoever opens their mouth to curse you or me, they are cursed. We carry the anointing that is so volatile. I prophesy to your life and mine. This year and beyond. He now says, blessed be those who bless you. As I'm blessing you, I am blessed. I don't know how many people I'm blessing right now. In the name of Jesus, everyone that blesses you is blessed. Everyone that blesses me is blessed. In the name of Jesus. A blessing that triggers another blessing. A triggering blessing. Every time you want to be blessed, bless somebody. Who carries this anointing? I decree and declare in the name of Jesus. Everyone that blesses you and me, they are blessed forever. In the name of Jesus. As they bless us with their mouth. Bless us with their substance. Bless us with their giftings. Bless us with their potentials. They are blessed. As we bless in every category, we are blessed in return. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. He now says, Blessed are you in the morning. Whoever bless you is blessed. Whoever curses you is cursed. This is the blessing of the Lord. This is the blessing of the Lord for you this morning. Wherever you are, that's the first prophetic showers. Hey, say I receive it, I receive it. There shall be a performance. Say every prophetic word will come to pass in my life. Every prophetic word will come to pass in my family. The dew of heaven, the fatness of the earth. I receive it in the name of Jesus. I receive it in the name of Jesus. My smell is like the smell of the field that the Lord has blessed. I smell fresh. I am fruitful in every good work. Say 2024. I arise in a new light in the name of Jesus. This year and beyond. I walk in blessing. I face every gate with the unction of the prophetic. With a prophetic push, I speak to gates. Lift up your head. All ye gates, be ye lifted up. Every everlasting door. Behold, the King of glory is with me. The King of glory is 
coming into my life this year with a new glory because it is my season of Shekinah glory. I manifest this year with Shekinah glory. I carry the glory, the dwelling glory of God, the dwelling presence of God. I speak to mountains, be ye lifted. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare this year I manifest it. Shekinah glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Next, I'm prophesying on prophetic showers this morning. You know, we just dwelt on the blessing that Isaac blessed Jacob. This morning, we are going to look at Abraham. And I'm going to decree seven major blessings from the life of Abraham. I am going to walk with that blessing this year. Don't miss Sunday prophetic showers from Daughters of Destiny. I've said now you can join us every Sunday, 6 a.m. to 7.30. Take your showers and go for your week. Hey, it will be a powerful week. Look at that. Genesis chapter number 12. Open your Bible. Write this down as you receive it. Now the Lord said to Abraham, Get out of your country from your family from your father's house to a land I will show you. All Abraham heard was a word to leave and to enter. Leave the familiar. Enter where he does not know. But you see, Abraham had a grace. <clears throat> Abraham is one of the blessed people in the Bible. The first person that God walked with him. He acted on God's leading. That's the first thing I'm prophesying to your life this year. The grace. As you hear God, you move. You will not lose time. Amen. He stepped into the unknown from the known. He was instructed to leave three levels of comfort. He left his country. He left his people. He left his father's house to an unknown destination. But you see that destination is what we now call the promised land. <laughs> Somebody, anything you need to leave in 2024 and anything you need to enter into in 2024, you will not be fearful to enter. Yeah. You will not be discouraged. Yeah. Receive the grace he carried, the grace to act on the word of God without questioning. I prophesy that grace upon your life now. In the name of Jesus, say, I receive the grace. Number one, the grace to hear and do. The grace to hear and do. The anointing to hear and do. Some people hear. Oh my God. John ahead, he didn't do. Some people hear, they don't do. And some people don't hear at all. Hey, some people now even hear, they don't understand. Somewhere, God was calling him, he didn't understand. So it is not just about hearing. You've got to hear, you've got to understand, and you've got to do it. Today I prophesy to your life. Just like Abraham, he heard, he understood. And he did what God said he should do. This year, the voice of people will not distract you from your destiny. Amen. I prophesy to your life and mine. You will act on the word of God. Amen. Swiftly in Jesus' name. Amen. You will discern. You will discern clearly the voice of God. Ability to hear. Discernment. You see, Lot was part of the package. He wasn't supposed to take Lot. But mercy still spoke for him. As you are doing what God said you should do. If there is anything out of pattern, yes, he moved. But there was still something out of pattern. Because our God is such a merciful God. Any mistake in destiny, the mercy of God will speak for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Because Lot brought the spirit of strife to the life of Abraham. But God still had mercy. I'm speaking to the life of somebody, myself inclusive. As we go in the journey of this year, and we don't seem to get some things right. Hey, Father, let your mercy speak. Let your mercy speak. Hey, mercy, mercy, mercy. Somebody under the sound of my voice. There is something out of pattern in your life. Hey, the totality of what you are doing is in line with God's instruction 
But there is a section, a chapter of the book of your life that is a lot. You are confused, you are sentimental, you are emotional about it. It is confusing you. I decree, let mercy speak today. In the name of Jesus. For everyone under the sound of my voice, any error in our life, I prophesy mercy, mercy. Mercy, oh Lord. Mercy, oh Lord. Mercy, oh Lord. Mercy, oh Lord. Father, show us your mercy. Yeah. Mercy, oh Lord. Father, show us your mercy. Somebody in your marriage receive mercy. Mercy, oh Lord. Mercy, Lord. Mercy, oh Lord. Masha, Katai. Mercy. I see somebody, you are kneeling down by your bed. Mercy, speak for you. You know that issue. By prophetic insight, God has revealed the error in your life. Now receive mercy, mercy. I see you kneeling down by your bed. The name of Jesus, receive mercy. Your mercy. Glory be to Jesus. So, the blessing, the prophetic blessing I've brought now, ability to hear, number one, to discern, and to do. And the fourth one, he received mercy. Though he took lots, but the mercy of God spoke. Let's look at Genesis chapter number 12, verse 7 to 8. Genesis chapter number 12, we are looking at the prophetic instructions from the life of Abraham. Genesis 12, from verse 7. And it says, Then the Lord appeared to Abraham and said, To your descendants I will give this land. And there he built an altar. He built an altar to the Lord who had appeared to him. And he moved from there to the mountain east of Bethel and pitched his tent with Bethel. And there he built an altar to the Lord and called on the name of the Lord. So Abraham continued to journey. Abraham was careful to raise altars as memorial, not one. Two altars. This is the like modern day documenting your experiences with God. Build an altar. Don't forget what God did for you when you were in Port Harcourt. Many of us forget. As he was joining, he was raising altar. This is a memorial. This is a memorial. Do you even have a, a, a documentation where you can thank God for? Hey, hey, I remember when I was going to have my last baby, who is now a medical doctor. I remember when this boy was going to be born. I saw the nurses running Elta Skelter. The head was already out. They said, Madam, push. And they said, Madam, push. They were looking confused again. I just heard, put your hand, put your hand. What are they doing at that point? I thought, push the baby out. They said, push your, put your hand. Don't wait, wait, care. When you are at that point, you are pushing the baby. I remember. I remember. They said, this is what causes stillborn. They said, Madam, what happened to you is what causes fresh stillborn. That is, the baby did not die until the time of delivery. Why? From when this baby was inside the womb, as the baby was twisting in the womb, the umbilical cord formed a knot. God preserved my baby for nine months. A knot. He ate, but as the, as the baby was coming out, the knot was becoming tighter. Thank God for experienced nurses. Thank God that God positioned people there. You know, some other people, they wouldn't know. So if the baby had gone, the knot would have just been so tightened and the baby would not have enough. They said, this is what causes fresh stillborn. Do you remember? Do you have an altar to certain things God has raised in your life? Do you raise an altar of thanksgiving? Today, I decree into your life the grace to raise altars. Altars of prayer. Altars of thanksgiving. Oh, shut up. Keep a memorial. Thank God for what he did 20 years ago. He will yet do more. He was careful to raise an altar. I prophesy into your life. 
the grace to commemorate your dealings with God. Yeah. When we did the foundation of Showers of Grace Building, foundation, 2016, we raised an altar. Serious prayer session. What have you done in your life? Today I decree. Abraham celebrated the experiences with God. The grace to celebrate the experiences of your testimonies. Not just asking. Receive it. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Next. Abraham had a teachable heart. He grew in spiritual maturity. He first met God when he was 75 years old. In Genesis chapter number 12 verse 4. That was when he met God. He was 75 years old. He was instructed to be circumcised when he was 99 years old. Hey, how many 99 year old people? They say go and circumcise. He said at which age? Bible receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. I receive it, you receive it. Amen. He did not become too familiar with God. He did not resent the words of God. Somebody, the anointing of teachability. I see some people, they are not teachable. Whoever is not teachable will not go far with God. If you are not a teachable person, you can be in a place of testimony, there will be none. You can be in a place of grace. If you are not teachable, it will not happen. Somebody right now, pride will not block your heart. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. rebellion will not block your heart. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. where God has planted you, whom God has attached you with, I pray you will receive what is flowing Amen. from that person. You will not block it by pride. The Bible says how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell in unity. It's like the oil on the head. It flows. You see, when it is flowing, if nothing is stopping it, it will not flow to the beard. Mm. Uh -huh. The oil that is supposed to flow into your life from this ministry. The oil that is supposed to flow into your life from the life of the set woman. The oil that is supposed to flow into your life from what we are doing here. Mm. It will not be blocked in Jesus' name. Amen. The wisdom that is supposed to flow into your life, receive it. Amen. Your heart will not block it. Amen. You will not shut it out. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Abraham. He was not too familiar with God. I hope you are documenting these things. Abraham respected family relationships. He made peaceful suggestions, even to his own detriment. He told Lot, Lot, even though I'm the one that brought you here, choose. You know why? Abraham knew the blessing was not because of the land. Mm. It was on his person. He knew it's not because the place is green. Abraham knew that anywhere he got to, that ground will be blessed. And so he respected Lot, who was younger than him. You go and choose somebody, your relationships, the wisdom to handle it. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Throughout 2024. Amen. Abraham was a courageous defender of his family. In Genesis chapter number 14, verses 13 to 14, he went to defend that same lot. Who chose the luscious place? For it was a place of danger. Hey, somebody, you will not be deceived by your sight. You will not be deceived by your sight. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Abraham was hospitable. In Genesis 18, verse number 2, Genesis 18, verse number 2, Abraham, he saw these angels. He was hospitable. He entertained them. And as he entertained them, what happened? The long-standing yoke in his life was broken. Somebody, your angel of 2024. Do you know the angel? You won't see the angel with wings. Let's see Genesis 18. Then the Lord appeared to him by the trembled trees as he was sitting in the tent door. In the heat of the day, he lifted up his eyes. Behold, three men were standing by him. When he saw them, he ran from the tent door to meet them, bowed himself to the ground. My Lord, if I have found favor on your sight, do not pass on your servant. Let a little water be brought. Wash your feet. Let a little water be brought and wash your feet and rest under the tree. This is what the Holy Spirit is telling me this just now. Some of you, 
I want you to underline this in your Bible. Genesis 18 verse 4. Wash your feet. Rest yourself. The angels came to trigger the manifestation of the promise that God gave him. The angels, that's what they came to do. And they prophesied to him and his wife. They said he should go and call his wife. And they prophesied to him. Verse 10. He says, I will certainly return to you according to the time of life. Behold, Sarah, your wife, shall have a son. This is my final word this morning on prophetic showers. Using these two things I've showed you in Genesis 18. Glory be to God. Wash your feet. Rest yourself. In 2024, somebody get ready. The angel that God is going to send into your life that will activate the promises of God are the people you wash their feet. The people that you give rest to. Hey! The people you help. They are going to be the angel that will activate the long-standing promise of God. As you, even if it is 100 naira, you are giving somebody rest. Even if it is ordinary water, you are giving to somebody. Be careful of those who need their feet to be washed around you. Be careful of those you are going to meet on the road. Don't quickly dismiss them. That can't you walk? Are you, don't you have two legs? Hear the word of the Lord today. As Abraham, who had encountered God, he still needed to encounter those angels who were sent as a confirmation. In this year 2024, I prophesy, as we begin to wash the feet of those with dirty financial feet, you are washing the feet of those with dirty marital feet. You are washing the feet of the widows, the feet of the orphans. You are washing the feet of those in need. You are washing the feet of people who need consolation with the words of your mouth, with the capacity you need. He says, and rest a while as you begin to do things that make somebody to have rest. There shall be an activation of the long-standing promise Oy, of God concerning your life. Hey, Abraham, he ran towards them. He said, please, let me wash your feet. Let me give you rest. And they were wondering, don't you know who we are? We prophesy to you, by this time next year, Sarah shall carry that son. I prophesy to your life in 2024. That issue in your life, the battle that is like a nerve pain, God is bringing release and relief in the name of Jesus. In the issues of your life that you have been looking for a way out, I prophesy this year 2024 there shall be a way out he's going to make a way where there seems to be no way hey, I prophesy somebody say I receive it somebody like share and subscribe as you are watching say I receive it he will make a way your life will bring laughter in the name of Jesus because he's the way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Hey, way maker. Somebody's making a way. Way maker, miracle Sing that song. Light in the darkness, my God, that is I'm making a way 2024. That long standing issue. We make a miracle. You are believing God for a life partner, for a child, 
I prophesy in the name of Jesus. This is your year. Oh, we make a we make a miracle. Worship it! <laughs> 